hungry. Hey, 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 it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. I am here at Hungryland with Mikey and Jamie. Hey, guys. Hello, welcome Hi. back. Thanks. You guys must miss me so much because I was away. You were gone for a long time. I was in New York. Almost it was fun. forgot what you look like. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I met so many fun fans who love the podcast in Yay. New York. That was like Hi, amazing. fun fans. They, I was like so excited. That's what mm. I heard the most. They're like, I love the podcast. Oh, how do Mikey and Jamie work together all the time? And they're married. <laughs> I'm like, they're amazing. Aww. And we're all lefties. Oh, yeah. That was like a little known fact. Makes it easy when we're trying to eat food. Even it's though the true. table is like a table yeah. for eight. <laughs> or six. It's okay. Um, but we're happy to be back. We're very excited about this week's exciting episode. Mm-hmm. It's such a departure for me because I, you know, I'm a carnivore mm-hmm. and this week's podcast is plant-based. So it's going to be a plant-based chew and tell. So as a carnivore, that's a person who enjoys eating meat and an herbivore is someone who only eats plants or vegetables, mm-hmm. right? Yep. And an omnivore eats everything. Mm-hmm. I'm really an omnivore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause I, I'm a foodivore. <laughs> Cause I love all food. You don't discriminate. I don't, I really don't, but like I do love, I'm a person who enjoys, you know, animal products. I hate to say it because I'm such an animal lover. And over the past two years, I've learned so much about uh, plant-based foods from my niece who moved in with us when she was 18 Mm -hmm. and she is a full on vegan. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's really difficult to stick to a vegan diet. I mean, it made me learn how easy it is to be vegetarian. Oh, yeah. In comparison, sure. In comparison. And just for for people out there that don't really know the difference, um, and I know you're probably shopping all the time, seeing plant-based all over labels and hearing about the, you know, a lot of the things we're going to talk about today. But the difference really is vegetarians will eat dairy Mm -hmm. and they eat cheese and they'll have milk. And vegan people who follow a vegan diet don't. And it's so restrictive. Mm -hmm. No gelatin. It's a lot of things you don't realize... um, like even some yogurts have gelatin and well, I guess yeah, and they're all dairy. And, and they're dairy anyway. But like, it, it's it's just funny because then there's a weird thing that you would think there's no way that's vegan, but Oreos are vegan. Mm-hmm. Like it's mm. a, I see my niece with like spoons and big containers of frosting and ah. peanut butter. Yeah. I'm like, that's vegan. She's like, yep. Anyway, but um, it, you'll learn a lot. And we have located and tried a whole bunch of products that we have been eating regularly that we love, that we thought were worth pointing out. No matter what type of ivore you are, an (laughs) omnivore, a carnivore, an herbivore, whatever, you're going to love these. I'm just a hungry vore right now. A hungry (laughs) vore. That's a good one. Thank you. That's a great one. Um, So I'm excited about that. And we're going to jump in. Do we have some plant-based news to start with? We do, we do. Breaking news. It's happening. The Impossible Burger is making its way to a store near you. Yes, that's true. It's going to be in the stores. Uh, so here's the deal. It debuted in Southern California last weekend at um, our Gelson's. There's a lot of Gelson's around. It's like our, it's like a higher-end store, I guess. Um, but then it's going to be in, in all other stores after that. Um, and then it's going to debut on the East Coast in just a few days. And then as the year goes on, it'll gradually be released throughout the rest of the country. Um, and they're sold in 12-ounce packages for $8.99. And we have a package right here that Lisa's holding. I'm squeezing it. <laughs> so this is Impossible Burger made from plants. Yeah. So, and by the way, um, everything here today is, we're calling it plant-based, but it's it's all things that are will fit in with a vegan diet. Mm-hmm. We're not saying every single thing we're trying is only made out of plants. So hopefully you guys will forgive us right. for that. Yeah. But, but no, no animal, no animal byproduct. Exactly. No animals were harmed. If I didn't know that you were holding a package of the Impossible Burger, pack, you know, the, the meat, I yes. would think that that's ground beef. It like, does. It looks crazy. like, as my mom would say, chop meat. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie was like, what are you, what's chop meat? It's such a New York thing, but it does. It really looks like ground beef. The thing about Impossible, the Impossible Burger and, um, you know, a lot of these substitutes, they're high in fat and yeah. they're high in calories. Like sometimes they're higher in saturated fat than regular beef, especially extra lean ground beef. It's mm-hmm. so strange. It is. I don't know. Like, what's, what's, if, if my eyes weren't so bad, I'd be able to tell you where all the fat's coming from. I love from. the tagline, all flavor, no cow. <laughs> um, so one third of this 12 ounce package is 240 calories, 14 grams of fat, and eight of that is saturated. So it's not even like that's a terrible stat, but like what's in it? Mm-hmm. If it's plant-based, like where's mm-hmm. all the fat coming from? Like, do, can you tell? Okay. So the ingredients, yep. The ingredients are soy protein concentrate, coconut oil, sunflower oil, 
natural flavors, potato protein. It looks to me like it's the oil. oils. Mm-hmm. So a lot of oils, make, like that's what's going to make it mm-hmm. taste rich. Yeah. Like beef. Is this the one that bleeds, or is it the other one? There's the there's what's the other one called? I'm sorry. Uh, beyond. Beyond. Yeah. Exactly. Beyond meat. I like all of them. Like mm-hmm. they all taste good to me. Mm-hmm. But I've been eating like fake soy meat for a million years. Mm-hmm. Boca, I thought was the originator. Mm-hmm. Morningstar Farms. I love all that stuff. Yeah. This stuff, I guess, is more popular because they're like, okay, infuse it with fat, make it taste rich, mm-hmm. and people will embrace it, mm-hmm. yeah. which they have. And like now, the thing that's all the rage is the Impossible Whopper, mm-hmm. which we are going to be taste testing yeah, today. Wait. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I told you I had my first Dodger dog the other day, so this is like a big I week for me. I couldn't believe it. It was huge. By first Dodger dog, she means... She bit off the end. She so, bit off. So yeah. daughter dogs come in a, in a small bun. So there's there's like more dog. Probably about two inches each on the on the end. So she ate the ends of it. So she had and a dog. they were delicious. Wow, four ounces of, of dog wasn't an impossible dog. <laughs> but soon, coming to a stadium near you, you will find them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but we are going to kick things off today with a bit of a departure for us. We have a sponsor feature. So for people who know Hungry Girl, and I've been around for like I don't know, 15, 16 years now. We do have sponsors um, for our content, and I will only accept any kind of sponsorships from companies and products that I absolutely love, that I would be writing about anyway. Mm -hmm. And most of our partnerships have come through that way, Mm -hmm. because we've written about them, and they're like, wow, what the heck happened? Our website broke. Mm -hmm. So um, we want to work with you. So one of our long-standing partners is Green Giant. Yay! Yay. Applause! Applause! Applause. (laughs) I've been a collector of Green Giant Little Sprout items since I was probably, I don't know, like knee-high to a grasshopper, Mm -hmm. as they say. Um, But Green Giant, they're the leaders in vegetables, as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. And in the past few years, they've been really stepping up their game with like all their swaps and their carb swaps. So they have things like riced cauliflower and spiralized veggies. And we've been writing about them and trying them and using them in recipes forever. And today we are actually going to be trying one of their newer products, Yay. which is super exciting. And it's cauliflower and yoki. Oh, <laughs> more applause wait. for that. Yes, yeah. more applause. So it's <laughs> this stuff is like 40% cauliflower and mm. it comes in two flavors. One, I know, more applause. Um, one is just straight up cauliflower, uh, gnocchi, and the other is spinach. Oh. So Ooh. we... Are we, sh- are we trying both? We're trying both. Yay. Yes. And it's so good. We know that, like, I've tried these already, so we're just mm-hmm. going to taste and describe. Mm-hmm. But um, you don't even need stuff on it. So we're trying it plain right out of the air fryer. Cool. They look beautiful. They do. And, and the, there's... Is there a potato in this? No, there's no potato. It's 40% cauliflower. It's all good stuff. And the stats are actually really good, too. So you get, like, for a cup, it, they're between 220 and 260 calories and only a gram to a gram and a half of fat. And it's such a good alternative to potato-based gnocchi or gnocchi, depending on who you're talking to. <laughs> gnocchi. And it has really great Italian flavor, and mm-hmm. it's such... Um, I'm just going to grab one with my fingers. Yeah, that's what I was going to okay. tell they're Jamie. Hefty. This is, I know, that's the thing. These are, I've tried other like plant based, um, not pla- non potato gnocchi, and mm. texture wise, they're that's almost quite. like, I t- they almost feel like bread. Like they're so yummy they're, and like comfort foody. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They're like little nuggets of deliciousness. That's so good. I love the texture. It's like crispy on the outside and kind of like doughy on the inside. Very doughy. Yeah. I want to try the other one now. Yeah, let's yeah. try it. And then the air fryer, they are incredible. So these, this is cauliflower and spinach. They're beautiful. They are. Look at Mike with his arm out. Like, give me one. Mm. These are my favorites. I've been obsessed with the spinach one. I like them both, mm. but oh my God, this I love is like the spinach that one. That's so good. Addictive. Mm. <laughs> Okay, so, we got to add this to our air... We, we bought an air fryer and we don't use it. We have to add this to our air fryer uh, list. You should. So Green Giant, the, the better thing about them is not only are their products like an 11 out of 10, they're so easy to find mm-hmm. and they're at a lot of supermarkets and they're at Walmart and most major supermarkets as far as I know. Mm-hmm. I always see the stuff. So it's easy to get. And if you want more information about this and all their products and if you want a coupon, you can visit greengiant.com or hungry-girl.com slash foodcast we will link you out there so good and cool. by the way you can cook these they cook up really good in a skillet too you don't need an air fryer if you don't oh, have that one. is true the skillet is like your best friend anyway yeah but the air fryer if you're fancy and you have one mm-hmm. use it but the skillet works great too cool great okay are we ready to jump in we're going to start with our impossible whopper Yay. taste test so i'm a little intimidated by this first giant thing huge. i have to tell you real quick 
I, so I just went to, before we started this, went to uh, Burger King and, uh, and bought it. And uh, I would say half the orders, so there was, it was, it was lunchtime, so it was packed. Half the people were ordering this. Well, this is, this is what I was going to say. I thought Burger King had given up. Mm. Like, they are not trying to, like, stay in the game. Um, but this Impossible worker, Burger is changing things for them. Yeah. I really think it is. My niece, who would never go to Burger King, goes there, like, every damn day to get this Impossible Whopper, mm -hmm. which, by the way, has 630 calories. Whoa. Wait, the one, that's as is, though. That is assuming, I think, it has mayo and cheese. We got one. We wanted to be, like, really no dairy on ours. Yeah. So we got a true plant-based Impossible Whopper. Mm -hmm. So I, that one is, I don't think it has cheese on it. No cheese. Um, yeah. So if you ditch the bun and the mayo, yeah, only 240 I, calories. Wow. Well. What do you mean if... The, just the if you wanted to just get the veggies, oh. like if you ordered it sort of hungry girl really? style and just got the patty over all those veggies with oh no mayo, gosh. 240 calories. There's no this is so good. There's no way anybody would know the difference. Well, I don't want to name names, but mm. my husband's like, that doesn't taste like a whopper. It does. It does. It oh tastes like a whopper. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. It's so good. Mm. It's good. He liked it. You know what it is? You taste like it was made at Burger King. Mm. In a good way. Yeah. yeah. I'm like a fast food maniac. Yeah, that's amazing. I never amazing. eat it, but I like it. Mm. I'm eating like a big chunk of this patty. That's so good. This is like a 10. How do they do it? How, well, I guess like you said, the oil, like it is it is definitely different than a lot of the soy-based products we've been eating for years. Yeah, and they'll put it on a lettuce bun for you. Mm -hmm. So what will it be on a lettuce 240. bun? 240. Hmm. No, 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 no. You're wrapping that up? You want more? <laughs> we got like 13 foods right. to try. Cut uh -huh. me a little tiny piece. I'm still chewing on it. <laughs> I freaking love that. I think for anyone out there who um, is hesitant to try it, go for it. I mean, even if it's just an excuse to go to a fast food restaurant with your friend yeah. and split one or take a few bites, mm -hmm. it's worth it because, I don't know, this is the future. Yeah. If they can make things taste like meat and you don't have to harm an animal, that's a good thing. Yeah. Yep. All right. I'm sad that it's over, that that part, <laughs> of, that that part of the day is over. Um, but we are starting our full-on plant-based taste, be taste test with some breakfast and dairy items. Cool. First one is my personal favorite thing to come out of the United States of America in the past year. Me! Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jamie's only 11 <laughs> months old. Well, I'm in trouble. Um, this is Almond Breeze Almond Milk blended with real bananas. Ooh. I call it Banana Almond Breeze. Mm. And it's, think, yeah, it's a mouthful, that Oh, name. it's the best. It's only 80 calories a cup, which is, you know, more than twice as many calories in the regular. I'm sniffing it because, but it's made with real bananas. So here, try. And that's all it is, that. by the way. It's the unsweetened almond milk mm -hmm. with bananas. I'm scared over the, you know. Okay. okay. And this has become my new obsession and I'm going to tell you why. And I've introduced, I'm like a pusher. I've introduced like hundreds of people it's to this so good. in my personal life. Yum. It tastes like a banana shake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's sweet, but there's no added sugar. Yeah. I should um, add yeah. that to my morning shake. I don't know why I don't. I put it in my coffee every morning. I've put it in oatmeal. Mm. I've made I've I make banana green tea matcha lattes all the time for anyone who goes into my kitchen and wants to drink. Mm -hmm. Like I'm I just force this on people. It is good in cereal. It's good any way you slice it. It's mm. the best product and it's in the refrigerated section so you can't get it with the sh with the shelf stable milks. But it's sold almost Everywhere, right? Yep. Kroger, Safeway, Albertsons, Shoprite, and more and fine, all retailers. fine retailers. And they have a good store locator. So if you go to the Blue Diamond website, what is that? BlueDiamond.com. Probably. Hmm. We'll link to it on the foodcast page. Okay, good. Um, this again, that's like that's truly life changing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's I really feel like special. If it ever go, if I ever take it off the shelves, mm -hmm. I will officially cry, and throw a tantrum, and kick and scream. Mm -hmm. Um, next up, we have, this is something called Just Egg, plant-based scramble. And it's like the vegan answer to egg beaters. Oh, Shouldn't well. it be Just Not Egg? Yeah, it should be. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> it's, it, you're right. Is, are we sure there's no egg in this? J-U-S-T, egg. Maybe they're trying to fool people. Yeah. But I just remember trying this and like having like a meltdown because it was so perfect. Okay, so that's two servings, mm -hmm. which is 140 calories worth. Okay, right here? Yeah. And okay, that's about... So, so you don't get as much bang for your buck as you do with like an egg beaters, mm -hmm. but it's probably great for cooking, like if you... Um, Mike, you want some of this? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, and then... 
Jamie, you keep. I that. mean, it looks like eggs. It looks like scrambled mm-hmm. eggs. We cook this up. Tastes just like egg. Mm-hmm. Tastes just like it. It's crazy. How do they do that? I don't know. I don't know. The texture is perfect. Tastes like a scrambled egg. It has a lot of flavor. It's mm. mung bean protein isolate. It's good. I love it. Yeah. And you can probably make a little sandwich out mm-hmm. of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, a little breakfast patty. You can use it however you would use egg. So I feel like, hey, if you want to just not use egg and still get something that is good for you, mm-hmm. fairly low in calories and fat, only two and a half grams of fat, five grams of protein, so it has a lot of protein, mm-hmm. I would give this a try. Where do people get this? So this is at Whole Foods, Sprouts, Publix, Albertsons, Safeway, and more fine retailers. Does that mean that a lot of more chickens are going to be hatched because no one, you know, people are eating this instead of eggs? It's going to be a population yeah, problem. Yeah, we could have a problem here. I don't think, I don't think you were eating the, chick, the, the eggs that were going to be born. <laughs> But, you know, that's not the way it works, right, Jamie? It kind of is. Back me up. If you Aren't they unfertilized right. eggs? But if you if if they don't need to be left unfertilized You for think chickens purposes. are going to be having a lot more sex and there's going to be... I don't know. We yeah. can't go there. Yeah. Let's okay. not go there. Right. I'm going to go back to the container, which looks like mustard. It and does. you get it in the refrigerated it section. And that's that. Moving on. <laughs> I honestly thought it was new a new Dijon mustard we were trying. <laughs> moving on. We're moving on to Kite Hill Ranch Dip. Now, Kite Hill... They are famous for making lots of vegan products. Mm -hmm. I have a special vegan fridge in my home. And I open it up and Lauren, my niece, has every Kite Hill product known to man. Really? Yeah. And and I think some of them are hit or miss. No offense, Kite Hill. Some of them taste better than others. This ranch dip is delish. What are the stats on that, Jamie? So it's only 30 calories for two tablespoons. And that's the other thing. With these types of like plant-based products, sometimes they're just really high in calories and fat. So it's exciting when we find these. Yes, when you have like the double whammy of the calorie and fat counts are Mm -hmm. very good and the taste is good. That's great. I have a request. Yes. Can I dip a spinach cauliflower gnocchi in it? Go for it. Oh, such a good Mm, idea. This is so Do one for me too. Is this nut-based? Let us see. Almond milk? Almond milk. Mm -hmm. Rice starch. It tastes just like ranch dressing. That's a great combination, too. And so light. And and it's got a nice texture. Mm -hmm. This is good. You can do a lot of things with it. And the thing is, a lot of these vegan products, as you were saying, they are higher in calories and fat because they they are made with nuts and things. So when when you use almond milk... Mm -hmm. It's just a home run. Mm-hmm. I'm really impressed, too. It doesn't taste dairy-free. Sometimes they taste a little off. This does not. Yeah, it's very that creamy. on. The opposite of off. Exactly. And those are at Whole Foods, by the way. Whole Foods. Is that all? Or are they I more? think that's the best place to find them. Okay. Um, next up, we have a cheese. These are field roast vegan chow slices. Oh. What, what flavor of cheese is that? So Do this is know? the creamy original. Creamy original. And, and the reason why I pulled these is because... I am so used to trying all these vegan cheeses, and a lot of them are just not good. Mm-hmm. They're disappointing. I'm not going to name names, but I think you know, like, I think the most popular vegan cheese on the market is, like, really a hit or miss situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But these always impressed me, so. Mm-hmm. This is coconut cheese. Oh, it's always made with coconut milk? Mm-hmm. Wow. That's fun. That well, it's interesting. A vegan coconut cheese alternative seasoned with a traditionally fermented soybean curd. So it's basically Sounds coconut. Gross. No, it's coconut and tofu. <laughs> oh, that, that sounds better. They should yeah. say that. Tofu. And I just remember we're eating, we're all splitting a, a slice of cheese. I feel like a little mm. mouse. <laughs> They're, they melt really well. That's they great. taste just like Kraft singles. You can put that on the uh, Impossible delicious. Burger. And yeah. Cheese That's burger. A, an 11. Wow. Yeah. I know we're not rating. That's great. That's Phenomenal. Really good. Wow. Lolly's staring at me. Yum. I want more. Mm. Here. And Take they have this. other flavors too, but that's the easiest one to find. It's at Walmart, Whole Foods, Publix, ShopRite. And very, more. very creamy. And it's also good for you if you are lactose intolerant. Mm-hmm. If you can't tolerate lactose, you've had enough, this is for you. Okay, we are moving on to meat and more swaps, starting with another Trader Joe's great find. This is Trader Joe's vegan jackfruit crabless cakes. Mm. I want to tell you something. I think jackfruit is disgusting. I have tried 10 at least 10 jackfruit items, even from fancy restaurants. Mm-hmm. I found every single one of them inedible. This product here, I love so much. I bought it. I have it at home. I eat it all the time. I know. I'm so glad that I work here because I, I also hate 
most jackfruit things I've tried and mm-hmm. wouldn't have tried this if someone, you know, didn't bring it in here. Like pull half of that. I love that it says crabless cakes. Like aren't most cakes crabless? <laughs> yes. Not crab cakes, but these are crabless crab cakes. Mm. These are so I don't know what it is. Is it the flavoring, the seasonings, the texture is spot on. That's great. Mm. And two cakes, 150 calories. You can make cute little sandwiches out of them. You can put them over like veggie pasta. The texture mm-hmm. is perfect. How is that so low? For two of those, mm-hmm. you're, you're full. There's no mm-hmm. way you can eat more after that. Wow. Mm. Six grams of fat, six grams of fiber, two grams of protein. So it's not a protein powerhouse, but yeah. Who is this Jack flavor? and where does he make this fruit? Have you ever seen a jackfruit? It's horrifying. Is yeah, that? it's horrifying. Like the it's way like the monkfish. You have, yes, yes, of it's the monk- fruit of, of, veg- of produce. <laughs> yeah, you have to like, it, there's all these hairs, these fibers that you have to move out of the way and then you like get these bulbs that come out and you have to clean them off it's disturbing i would never do that i like when trader joe does that for Mm -hmm. me are we sure they're not aliens that we're killing they might be i hope they're not do you want more of this (laughs) no because there i see a lot of other stuff on that plate that i really want okay next up we're trying beyond meat beyond sausage so it's beyond sausage i guess one link 190 calories 12 grams of fat 16 grams of protein six smart points okay i'm gonna slice this sausage now, Lisa, I think you maybe this might be one you haven't tried. Maybe. Is that true? Um, but people rave about it. And when you look at it, it I mean, it looks like real sausage. It does. And the stats are pretty high. Jamie, right. are you partaking in yeah. this? Yeah. What about you? I almost you? stabbed you. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Heck yes. All right. Oh, you're passing out. Oh, my God. Mmm. That is the best meatless sausage I've ever had. Wow. That tastes real. Yeah. Spicy. Yeah. See, Beyond and Impossible, they really know what they're doing. And it is spicy, but it's really good. But it's high. It's like really high. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? But you could have half of one of those. Yeah. It's true. Plus, all the fat will probably fill you up. And mm-hmm. it has 16 grams of protein. And add a little mustard. Mm-hmm. I don't put on a little lettuce oh, bun or whatever. I don't know. Maybe some little sausage egg. or a little mm-hmm. um, peppers and mm-hmm. onions. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Like a big peppers and you just slice half of it really thin into yeah. coins. And make it like a pepper sandwich out of it. Yeah. Do you want more of that? Should I finish it? Um, you can. See your it? appetite, Hubs. I'm good. I'm it's good. Okay, he's I good. I didn't have lunch. Look at him. He looks good. He had no peanut butter today. Well, Did you have your yogurt? Mm-hmm. He puts okay. peanut butter in his morning smoothie. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right. Well, next up, we're gonna try Loma Linda plant-based protein taco filling. I love Loma Linda products. Now they're these really are good. they're shelf stable, so you find them. Oh, by the way. Going back to the Beyond Meat, you can find it at Publix, Whole Foods, Sprouts, ShopRite, Safeway, and more. And more what? And more. And other fine retailers. <laughs> How am I doing? They're really good. Very good. Okay, moving on to Loma Linda. I am a fan of Loma Linda products. You can get them on Amazon, and mm-hmm. they come in like little envelopes, like little packets. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very and convenient. I, so convenient, and they're really tasty. I've tried so many things that I love. This is just the plain old plant-based taco filling Quarter cup, 80 calories, four grams of fat, 14 grams of protein. Wow. Okay. And this is also available at Safeway Sprouts, Walmart, and more. Other it cooks up retailers. nicely, though. Like, even, like, that's a quarter cup. It's a nice serving. It looks like, like it kind of fills out when you cook yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. How are we going to try this? I feel like we're just you sitting just here give staring me a spoon. at it. That's all I need. We're just all yeah. staring at it. It's like a, a taco meat fest. Ah, oh, no. It went on Mike's computer. Uh oh. Mmm. This to me tastes. He ate it anyway. Mm. It tastes like there's beans in there, too, mm. already. That I would make good. the best. I would use it in quesadillas, tacos. I like that. I'd put that on pizza. That's delicious. I like that it's got kind of like, almost like a smooth, cons- like it's it's chunky, it's crumbled. It's crumbled. But it's got like a sauciness to it. Mm-hmm. It tastes like it's pre-sauced. Oh, Maybe they did a good job with that. It is so, so amazing. I really, it's such a standout for me that I wanted to tell the world about it. Again, it's Loma Linda plant-based protein taco filling. But you're not limited to tacos with this. Mm-mm. It could change your life. I would use it in omelets. I'd make all kinds of Mexican dishes or mm-hmm. I'd throw it on a salad. So many things you can do with this. I love that it's shelf stable because you can store a bunch in your pantry. Yeah, you totally can. And then also it's like you can order it from Amazon. Like you can order it online without having to pay, you know, to have it shipped on dry ice or something crazy yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, next item up for chewing. Don't send that burger too far away, Jamie. We have I'm Light surprised Life. Mike's letting me even move I it know, off the table. I know, it's been moved off the table and we haven't tried it yet. This is Light Life Deli Meat Swabs, um, white bean and kale. When, when I saw these, I was horrified. They're not pretty. 
they look like the world's worst yeah. lunch meat you would ever find that at like. Looks scary. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're kind of greenish like, gray and they're speckled. They are, but you know what? You um, you get three slices for ninety calories and only three grams of fat. Not a lot of carbs, mm. and they're white mm. bean and kale. They're so good. Texture wise, it's just like turkey. I would wrap this around a pickle. Mm. I would make a turkey sandwich. Oh yes! Mm. Mm-hmm. Thank God, pickles are plant based. Let's see if Lolly likes it. Oh, Lolly's eating it. It's yum. Mm. It's good. I feel like if you want to have deli meat, but you say, you know, hey, I don't want to have actual meat today, Mm -hmm. this is a really great alternative. Really yummy. So we found these at Trader Joe's, but they're also at Kroger, Fry's, Ralph's, Earth Fair, and more. And other fine retailers. What's Earth Fair? I don't know. Sounds like it's a very organic, whole food Hmm. type thing. Okay. Last up on the meat swaps. We've got Bubba Original Veggie Burgers. Now, I these really impressed me because it's like I just remember Bubba Burgers. I saw them at like a food show, like maybe Natural Products, the Natural Products Expo mm-hmm. years ago. And their regular burgers were like the most decadent, mm-hmm. fatty, crazy, ridiculous things. And so when I saw the Bubba Veggie Burger, I'm like, gee, I wonder how it's going to be. Only 110 calories. And Whoa. it's pretty th- fat. Two and a half grams of fat. And look at it. Isn't it impressive looking? Yeah, it's like, it's not, some of the patties are really skinny. This, yeah, it's not skinny at all. It's hearty. So w- the story with this, and I'm, I'm not doing a good job cutting this, but I'll eat Well, that. there's vegetables popping out of right. it as you're cutting so, it. So it's, it's truly a veggie burger that is veggies. I want that with all the veggies. Okay, that's the one that I demolished, but it's fine. I want um, the crispy side Here, one. you take this. Um, this burger, it's like a Dr. Prager's patty in a lot of ways. You know, it's like a lot of veggies all smashed together. Mm. And I freaking love this. I'm flipping mm. out. Mm. This is mm-hmm. this is the best veggie burger I've tried in a long mm. time. Oh, you hadn't tried this before? No, That's it's great. amazing. There's giant black beans and corn and peas. So up your alley. You see, like, there's a, right, a big whole piece of corn, a bean, a carrot, and every bite. Did they air fry this? Um, I don't think so, because it's, it's dark. Mm. They're oats. I see oats. Mm-hmm. Mm. I That's like really knowing good. what I'm eating. That's like a really... It's yeah. so good. They just made this on the grill. Um, it's low. Hmm. So I think this is like America's best kept secret right now. Yeah. These Bubba original veggie burgers. The um, the store locator apparently isn't the most up to date on these. So how will people Well, okay, find we them? found ours at Vons. We've seen them at Publix. Um, we've heard that they're at Giant Food in Pennsylvania, Price Right in Massachusetts. Basically, reach out to the Bubba folks. Say, hey, here's my zip code. Where can I find them? Everyone's going to call yep. them. Yeah, and wow. Vons is. Uh, and just look for them. I mean, you'll they're they're around. That's Bubba, B U B B A, Bubba. Dear if, Bubba. If they're at Vons, which is a Safeway out here, uh, brand out here, so if, if you have Safeways, they're probably mm-hmm. a Check chance they're there. Mike is like clawing it with his hands and shoving it down his throat. Mm. That's Good the best work. veggie burger. I can't even. Yeah, it is. I, I, oh my it's, god! It's like imagine a Dr. Prager's on steroids. Mm-hmm. Dr. Prager's is a little bit greasier and flatter, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but you know all the veg in them, and they taste good. But this is way better. Mm-hmm. All right, I think I need a drink. I need some kind of palate cleanser happening. We happen to have a plant-based margarita. It's made with agave. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, if only. All right, we're moving on to more meal starters. These are things that can help you start your meals. And as much as we'd like to say there are a lot of them, there's only one. (laughs) (laughs) More meal starter. (laughs) But there are other things you can get, but today we're only trying one. Hmm. Right rice. Right? Do Do we happen to have a container of it? We have this lovely pouch. The lovely pouch. It's very stylish. It's black. Okay, so I buy my right rice on Amazon, but it sells at several retailers. Jamie, do you know where it sells? Whole Foods? Whole Foods, Kroger. But yeah, I get it on Amazon too. I get it on Amazon. So my friend who created Pop Chips, his name is Keith. He's a really great guy. He created right rice. He invented it. It came out of his tiny little brain. Okay, he's got a big Ah! brain. Came out of his brain, which is large, but fits into his tiny little head. No, he has a perfectly normal size head. All right, right rice, it's made from vegetables, and it really mimics the texture and the flavor of rice in a way that other things can't. Mm-hmm. So it's vegetables, it's part vegetables and part rice mixed together. So oh. the stats, slightly lower than rice, mm-hmm. 180 calories as opposed to like maybe between 210, mm-hmm. 220. But nutritionally, this is a nutritional powerhouse. So it's packed with... Protein, fiber, carbs. Do you have any exciting stats to share about it? Maybe Jamie. Why, does. yes, I do. Okay, Jamie. I mean, I think what's really cool about this, so it's a blend of lentils, chickpeas, peas, and rice. Mm-hmm. 
It's got 10 grams of protein to serving. White rice has four. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. And I'm going to tell you something that I've done with this. And it's a complete protein, which is rare. It is not an incomplete protein. Nope. It, Nobody wants it completes that. us. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I almost had an accident. Well, almost had some rice. So here's the thing. This is just the original flavor. It comes in a bunch of flavors, like Spanish. And do you have the flavors? Wait, hold. Do, do you oh. have the flavors in front of you? Yes. You there's original today? Spanish lemon pepper, and oh, I think yeah. they have a new Thai one. Mm. Mm-hmm. They do. Yeah. I've okay. Seen the time. It was good. The texture mm. is what gets me. Mm-hmm. I load this up with flavoring. So I add garlic. I add truffle salt. But the best thing that I've done with this rice is throw an egg on top. I will just throw an egg into the skillet. I'll make an over easy egg. Mm. That's and it's brilliant. the best thing ever on this. The, lo- the runny yolk right on that rice. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. It's like changes breakfast forever. All right, again, it's uh, two thirds of a cup cooked, 180 calories, two grams of fat, five grams of fiber, 10 grams of protein. Forget regular rice. Do the right thing. Do the right rice thing. I just made a commercial. Look at that. <laughs> that was not sponsored, people. Nope. <laughs> that was off the cuff. Okay, uh, moving on to sweets. This first sweet, and we have two today. Well, three, really. Sorbabes, cute name. Yeah, Mm -hmm. very. Sorbabes, plant-based sorbet. So, I mean, a lot of sorbets are plant-based, so you're like, oh, come on, sorbabes. (laughs) So you're plant-based. But guess what? They have some flavors that are actually like ice cream. Yeah. So it is impressive. This first one is pistachio and caramel. Oh, I can't wait for this one. How, like, cool is that? Yeah. That's, like, very creative. Mm -hmm. And... Look at it. It's not beautiful, actually. Wait, this yeah. is interesting. It's made with nut butter being pistachio butter. Oh, so it's made with pistachio. Well, a half a cup, 110 calories. So that's not bad. Totally reasonable. Five grams of fat, also not bad. It's pistachio nut butter sorbet with caramel and pistachio pieces. Wow. I'm just going to stick a spoon in here and only do a one-time taste. Here's gonna, my question. going to make it count. Are we going to call out Aaron for obviously... She ate half of that. (laughs) Eating half of a pint. (laughs) Mmm. That is like, okay. Mm. It tastes like real Mm. pistachio. Mild, creamy, tastes like ice cream. That caramel swirl is out of this world. Little chunks of pistachios. Wow. Mm. I freaking love that. That If you eat that whole thing, it's what, 440 calories? Too many. (laughs) Mm. Yeah, what if you eat half? It's not so bad. No. 220. That's my vote. My gosh. All right. Then they also make, they make other flavors. This is a jam and lemon. Is that what it's called? Or jam and, jam and lemon. Oh, look. It's pretty. Is there, what's in that? Is it a swirl of lemon? Yeah. Goodness. This is jam and lemon. It's lemon sorbet with creamy lemon swirl, which Hmm. looks like it wasn't swirled. It's just kind of glopped in the middle. (laughs) And lemon zest. (laughs) Creamy lemon lump. (laughs) Only 60 calories for a half cup. What? So 240 for the whole pint. Mm -hmm. All right. Dig in. I'll go last on this one. But the sorbets, first of all, we found this at Target. And the sorbets seem like they'd be a little exclusive. Like, you wouldn't find them at Target. But guess what? They're right there for you Target. at Target. I knew someone Ooh. was going to say Target. It wow. was Jamie. Mm. Oh, out to lump. It's creamy, right? Oh, I got a piece of lemon zest. Yeah, me too. Wow, that's good. You know what? Really good. It brightens your whole head up. Yeah. It's so... Am I glowing? Tart. <laughs> you are. You look fluorescent. It's like tart... Mike cannot get enough today. No, I want to see the label. (laughs) First of all, I'm very sensitive to lemon items. I think a lot of them taste like Mr. Clean. A lot of lemon items. But not this. This is so like, it will wake you up. Mm -hmm. And it brightens your whole head. I I can't for breakfast. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying, but it really brightens (laughs) your face. Like it makes you feel like, hey, Mm -hmm. it's so yummy. It makes you smile. Yeah, you can't not smile when you eat that. Yeah. And the lemon zest, this is so unique. Yeah. That is incredible. I want to be rating these things an 11 out of 10. I could see Italian restaurants serving that and saying that they made it themselves, but but they're really using sorbets. Yeah, and a little lemon half. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love when they do that. Me too. That is good, good stuff. But it would be really bad if they tried to serve the pistachio in little pistachio shells. (laughs) (laughs) The most frustrating (laughs) dessert ever. Disappointing (laughs) beyond belief. Okay, um, the last product of the day, we're going to end things with chocolate. Yay. This is a chocolate that we discovered a couple months ago here. It's JoJo's Chocolate Bars and Bark. JoJo has a great story. She was a person who loved sugar. Um, she, I think, was fighting breast cancer. And she decided to invent these chocolate bars, which she dis- she calls your daily guilt-free indulgence. Probably because the chocolate's pretty low in sugar, right, for chocolate? 
Is that what it is? It's only like come six in bars. grams of sugar for the entire bar. I don't know how she does that. This one's open. It's peanut butter flavor. Ooh. I'm breaking it. I don't know how many. Well, that's a lot, but I'll share this with This you. is like a real chocolate bar. This is not like a snack yeah. bar. No, it's like a I, big, like a chunk. So I think that sugar to be that low. Yeah, how it is that looks possible? like dark chocolate, too. Which How do they do mm. it? How do they do it? Mm. Mm. When I tried it, first of all, the little bit of salt, mm -hmm. the little bit of saltiness takes it over the top. Um, this is amazing. I, I, wow. How many calories in the whole bar? Um, 160. 160. Yeah. That's crazy. 12 grams of fat, but the sugar is so low. Is there any kind of fake sugar in it? I don't think so. Mm, no. Right? No. Yeah, I don't oh, know well. how they do it. How do they do it? They just use cocoa? Dark or chocolate. 70% dark chocolate. And then just the right amount of sweetness to mm -hmm. not make it be too sweet. And I see peanut flour, which probably mm. is better, right? Yeah, like powdered peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have a trail mix looking bar. Wow. Mm, and th this oh, stuff bark. Is, this is the bark. It's the bark. Yeah, the bark is great. And it's sold at Sprouts, or you can order it online at jojoschocolate.com or on Amazon, where I like to buy everything. This is so good. Mm -hmm. I love JoJo. Great story, great family, totally family run. I highly recommend you check this out. Mm -hmm. And this is also going to be on our Foodcast page, like all the other finds today. Yep. This was a super delicious podcast. It was, and no animals were harmed. None. Especially not Lolly. She's just been fed mm -hmm. and fed and mm -hmm. fed. <laughs> hey, Lolly, no chocolate for Lolly. If you have a dog at home, don't feed them chocolate. Mm -hmm. All right, I want to know what everybody's favorite thing was that we tried today. Oh, boy. Like our I first? Eat, you go first. Well, I don't know. That JoJo's peanut butter bar thing is amazing. So that'll be my number one sweet. But the Impossible Whopper, I just can't get enough. I want more. I want to go back <laughs> Burger King in it right now. Um, there's too many. I know, right? I can't narrow it down. Like either. the Loma Linda, even like the Green Giant products. I know they're our sponsor, but that the, the, the spinach. spinach gnocchi is like off the charts. Mm -hmm. Everything, it's too much. These were these were like sort of hand picked, yeah, especially by me, who has been scouring shelves and scouring everywhere to find plant based products that I can feed my niece mm -hmm. that I can feel good about feeding her because usually a lot of them don't taste good. We'll make her a doggy bag with all of our leftovers. <laughs> there aren't many leftovers, but we'll do it. No, yeah, thanks. Um, and again, people can find this information on our Foodcast page. It's hungry-girl.com slash foodcast. Um, if you want to talk about anything that you find, if you're a member of our community, Jamie, tell people how to go find it. You go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash hungrygirl, and you click on groups, and you go to the What's Chewin' community. And Almost 60,000 people. Yeah, and they're the best. Yeah, they're yeah. like my new best friends. And we'll link to uh, the community page as well on the Foodcast page. Good. Mm -hmm. And then yep. you can, if Mike likes to be texted. You can text me, 805-380-8075. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of texts now, so I'm not replying like within an hour, but I'll reply usually within 24 hours, I would say. Good for you. And yeah. they can call you too and leave mess leave voicemails for yeah, you. Yeah, the same one, you yeah. know. That I won't reply as quickly because, you know, voicemails take a long time to listen to and then... I don't have time to talk. But you care, and we appreciate that. I have to that. work a lot, yeah. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, we have daily emails. Obviously, you should sign up for them. You go to hungry-girl.com, and you can sign up right there on the homepage. Those daily emails are the heart and soul of this brand. The podcast is just like a late edition, but we love it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So rate it and tell your friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do it. How do they do that? They go. Where do they rate this? Um, you can go to the uh, Apple Podcasts page, which is now by itself. Uh, you can still do iTunes, but um, uh, click it on and then click rate. You'll see like stars mm -hmm. and you can put how many stars you five. want. You should put five. And then you can also write a review if you'd like as well. But you, even just putting in the five stars is, is good enough. But reviews are also awesome. Wow. The stragglers that are still hanging on. <laughs> we love you a lot yeah. after that whole outro. <laughs> but we will be back next week with yet another riveting episode yeah. of Chew the Right Thing. Am I still glowing from the ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> That'll probably be a few 48 hours worth of glow. <laughs> All right, we're going to sign off now. We've got more to eat, more to chew, more things to do, but we'll be back in a week. Until then, I am Lisa Lillian, and until next time, chew the right thing.